All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tear Draft League Season 2. So, today we have an awesome match for you guys. I mean, it's already getting to the point of the legends. We have the Pharaoh Forbidden Ones versus the Kaiba White Dragons. I mean, literally Pharaoh versus Kaiba. This was not planned. Everybody will play everyone. It just happens to be that in the first round, these two have faced each other. But they are not in the same division so first we have the pharaoh forbidden one the captain is little doris the link to his channel is in the description he has great content so go ahead if you can do me a favor check out his content he is in the regional division or the second lowest and then for the cowboy dragons we have my friend nick cool he's a cool guy obviously it's in his name uh he joined the league and helping me out because we're missing people and he has been phenomenal and he is in the uds division or the lowest division so let me go ahead and clear this up if you guys are confused. I mean, if you guys have watched the explanation video, you should know. But just because you're in the lowest division or second lowest division doesn't mean that you're crap. It, the placement in division happens to be which deck you chose for your tier 1 and tier 2 decks, respectively. So, the reason why these two are in the lowest division and the second lowest division is because, as you can clearly see here, their decks are from 2015. We have tier 1 Cleford mm -hmm. versus tier 1 Shadal. So, both decks of 2015. And... Uh, it happened to be that Little Dulles chose a deck from 2016, therefore putting him in, in a little higher division than Nicole here, who chose 2015 decks for both Tier 1 and Tier 2. So that's literally it. It doesn't mean that you're crap or you're good or you're your best. It doesn't do that. It's just your f people in your division have chosen similar decks, whether it be 2015 and 2016, which, of course, is the theme for Season 2. So, I mean, this should be a good one. The whoever wins is just going to get one point. But you know what? That's fine. Because it seems like lately here, <laughs> starting it off for Season 2, Tier 1 decks win, you know? I was getting a lot of flack and people saying, like, oh, man, the Tier 1 decks, they're not strong enough. They're, they're not good enough. They're just, you know, it's just a theme. They're not good. No, no they're, they're good. They're good. They're obviously a Tier 1 for a reason. They stood out during their time and they show that they can still kick butt now and get you that easy, easy one point. But, of course, each deck has to be played five times. And then the playoffs get to show mastery of all three decks. So, anyway, let's go ahead and hop into it. So, I have not seen this. I'm watching it blind just like you. I'm just going to be commentating, giving my input. But, uh, let's go ahead and look at these hands. So, obviously, the Cancer is real over here with the Duelist. Uh, the Pharaoh Forbidden Ones, it's Cleef for. You got the, the Summoner's Art for your, there's your Scout. You got your Lose One Turn. You got your Card Demise, Cancer. Over here in Shadows, eh, you got the Stick Check Combo. So, that, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. You got the Stick Check Combo on it with the Sarah, uh, Star Sarah. So, I, I said, uh, we proved that in the league for your life because, of course, if you look in this extra, oh my god, there's Construct. So, uh, I believe, uh, Cleef Forts have Triple Scout and, uh, Triple Scout. And I think, I think that's it, I want to say. I want to say, uh, outside my mind, but I know that Shadows have a construct, so this should be a good one. This is just straight up 2015 right here, people. So which one will pull it out? I mean, there are cards that are re more recent, like the BAM, that card of mine. But here we go. We have to get the ball rolling. Uh, ah, put your helmet on, pay 800, and there it is, the Sacrifice. It's one of the most powerful cut spells. So we got the Stick Chair Combo, but, oh, there's the Reclay, so you can chain the Reclay. And that's the one time uh, where Reclay really does some damage, is when you chain it to something. Because after that, it's a mandatory effect means that it's going to be chain link one so it's like if you hit it with the chain because of course you chain it'll be chain link two it's always going to be chain link once it's mandatory so let's say for example he summons like another stick it would go chain link one reclay chain link two stick stick would get the search and then we'll get negated with reclay and it's just like eh well, like what's the point but nope there's lose one turn two and ah uh, lose one turn plus reclay equals uh, good luck you know good good fucking luck so, nope, nope, shut your, shut your butt up and negate it. And ho hello, who are you? Like, we don't see this card. There's number 10, Illuminite. So, three three level four monsters. One return, you can test a consumer to his card. So, one card, we are going to hand to Gary if you do a drone card. I mean, you went sneg just to make him. I mean, the stick chair combo is nice, but generally you would have went neg on him and just to even out. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a reason why we don't see this guy too often. But, I mean, lose one turn, that's just a bitch. That card is a bitch, and we already know that. So, more search. Go ahead and catch that Regeki. Take that swift neg. Well, it would be technically even out because one for one, but you used how many cards to make this? Exactly. So, uh, and of course, the powerful Pendulum Summon, um, like, why do you care, you know? Especially when you're summoning these normal monsters. Like, usually lose one turn kind of fuck you up too, but... And this, this is Cleefort down. Um, if you guys are wondering, 
um, he is allowed to use critical damage, but there is no towers in this in the league. We decided we're just going to stick with no towers. Uh, you know that it's like okay, well you don't have kaiju, and you just pretty much it's kind of a sacky thing. So we're like we're trying to avoid the sackiness. So there's no tower in the league. Tower is still banned, but it doesn't mean that Cleefords don't have the power. I mean, done. That's it. Like GG. You know, uh, it sucks that. Uh, a little duels over here with the Cleaford got everything. Bleeds in the heart of cards with the Pharaoh over here. And then, you know, Nick Cool with the, with, uh, with the Shadal. It's not a single fusion in sight. And, I mean, that's it. That's it. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on to game two and or three if there is one. So, we're back. All right. We are back with game two. And, I mean, it's looking like a little bit of the same. Like, come on, number generator. Come on, white chill, bro. Like, all right, you got the summon desire for again for the, the scout. You got to lose one turn to lock him up and then double card him. Like, and over here, I mean, instant fusion from Norden. I mean, you can maybe set a hedgehog, flip it up to get your fusion. You got the anti spell. So, uh, you know, if you go first, flip up that anti spell and, you know, possibly lock him out of playing the pendulum skills, that'd be nice. So, really, it just comes down to who's going first. Uh, oh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. So, Nick is to go first, and that means that that anti spell is set and ready to go. So let's see how this goes down. Some of that anti-spell and it's like, oh, no pendulum scales for you. Not only no pendulum scales for you, but you can't even just play your card demise. You gotta wait an entire turn. But, uh, you know, just because uh, pendulum scales can't be played doesn't mean that Cleese are a push on That's still 1800, so that's still fairly strong. Uh, grab the Shadow Fusion instead of the regular Shadow Fusion, which I guess is still fine. I mean, there probably won't be any too much extra deck summoning for, uh, against Kalees. I mean, come on, you know? <laughs> and uh, the g duels kind of slowed down. Oh, ah. Oh. It's like, I know you would love to just play that scout in the, in the Pendulum Scale, but you can't anti spell, anti spell people. Ah, oh, wow. Played Cardamize and drew into Cardamize. Awesome. So, uh, I mean, it just seems like it's going to be some Caveman Yu Gi Oh in here, you know, to just get the beat down. So. Uh, Shadal Fusion. Oh, and there it is. Lose one turn. So, you can go ahead and fuse it to the window, but you're going to go ahead and get negating and go in defense mode. And there's only 800 booty here. And well, this is still 1800. So, despite fusing, and despite, you know, thinking that you're going to go on the aggressive. Not here. No, no, no. Not today. Oh, oh. So, we see a tribute summon. A tribute summon for uh, Monolith. And I believe that Helix, when it. Is tributed pops a back row? Yeah. It's called tributed. You could target one spell or trap and film destroy it, which would be great uh, to go ahead and pop the anti spell. But nope, gets hit with a warning, which this card was technically not summoned. So uh, I believe that Helix will not go off. Oh, no, nope, never mind, never mind. It still goes off. So, oh, pop that anti spell. And uh, the ball is rolling. So there we go. We're seeing multiple scouts. Like I said, please do have multiple scouts. There's a reason why scout got hit down to, to one, because, oh my god, just put your helmet on and pay 800. Search, 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 search. There's another, yet another card in my eyes. Like, oh, this card, get hit. <laughs> so dumb. In the, in the right hand, this card is so dumb. Just draw a crap ton of cards. And uh, despite that, you know, not the greatest draw of the card in my eyes. Um, duel is still kind of slow, but, I mean, we, we might still see a comeback from the Klee player. I mean, the ball is not out of the co uh, the court just yet. So, are we going to see a storming? Yes, we are. Oh, no, no, but smart, smart. Book of Moon set down the window so it does not get returned back to extra deck. Uh, but, oh, oh, and they're skilled during two? Oh, my God. So, and we're just going to see, oh, and the card reminds yet again. But just because there's, just because there's no towers, Konami, they, they left, they banned towers. But, I never said you couldn't do sky base, so mm. <laughs> so we might see some uh, sky base action here, and uh, that that's fine. You know, I'm just doing what Konami said. Konami says towers is too broken, but sky base is fine. When they're pretty much the same card. I mean, they're they they they're sort of different. They're sort of different. At least sky base doesn't lower you by uh, 500 attack and defense, making it so you can just summon a 3,000 monster and attack over it. And also, while it temporarily takes your monster, at least it doesn't make you lose resources. It just takes it and gives it back. So I can understand that, and but you still Utopia Lightning, you still Kaiju's, but you know all that. <laughs> uh, and this duel, like, I I don't know who's gonna win it. I mean, just but you know what, the struggle is real because I think the skill drain's gonna. I think the skill drain, like you lose one turn with already hurt. I think the skill drain's gonna make the difference because skill drain just negate everything, and then the Cleaves are gonna go back to their OG attack, and that's gonna be a problem. So you can go ahead and fusion summon Nwinda, cool story, bro, but oh, you negate it, but you're also going to go into defense mode as well. Oh, ooh, ooh, but we're actually seeing Shadal Dragon go ahead and attempt to pop the skill drain that's gone, but the damage is already done. So, um, 
We see stealth being at 2,800, being the caveman Yu-Gi-Oh beater it is. Uh, we're seeing the Clive End or the Cleave Fort down, uh, being summoned, turn defense mode. But, I mean, it's still an 18 beater. And then, bam, there is yet another stealth. More searching, more beating, just caveman Yu-Gi-Oh in this duel. Wow. And then strike the window, thinking that it's going to grab back the resources. It's like, no, absolutely not. Um, the dragon's going to try to bounce the the stealth but it doesn't matter because stealth it did have its effect negated but then you give it back with when you pop this with uh pop the skill drain which means that now it is unaffected by uh monsters whose levels are lower than it so it's unaffected by uh the dragon bounce so no nope, get out of here and it uh nick is holding on holding on this is this is good this is literally the strength of two tier one decks going at it the resources are there the plays are there the duel, this is a good duel it really is it's just it's just, how is it going to go down? And I think this 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 might be the trouble right here. Right here is where uh, the shakedown. It's interesting that, um, I mean, uh, little Dose over here with Cleefort is kind of running out of resources. Only 13 cards left in the deck. But uh, there, was there no way to set up the Pendulum Scales and get a Pendulum Summon on? You know, get a little bit more aggressive in this duel. I mean, I know that it's still sitting in defense mode, but you can at least get your Pendulum Scales set up. But damn, this duel is going on forever! <laughs> <laughs> All right, flipping up the head out, getting searched, but I just don't see like the, the this 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 lose one turn is just screwing screwing over so hard. The instant fusion from Northern, I, I don't know why that was done, and there's continuing continued searching of paid hundred paid hundred. I mean, there ain't gonna be any paid hundred now. There's only seven hundred life points left, but. All right, pendulum skills are set. Pendulum summon, pendulum summon, pendulum summon, and strike, but. At this point, it's not terrible. I, I think you got a little bit too thirsty there. Uh, uh, a little loss. I probably would have just pendulum summoned one. You know, you want to pay 15 for one, but three? I mean, come on. Um, and uh, stick chair, well, chair chair combo. It's construct, you know. Uh, free, free uh, construct, right? Right, people? Right? And uh, I guess I guess at this point, uh, Nick was like, all right, that's it. And you know, there's, not, there's no harm in scooping. There's no harm in scooping, so... Uh, Helix is going to tackle over the summon to you, that's it, then kill the Construct. Construct can grab something back, but at this point, I mean, tch, the resources are done. The resources are done. Grab back another fusion or whatever, but I mean, really, what you would, what were you done, you know? They just tap, tap game, so that's it, that's it. So, <laughs> victory, oh, I don't know, surprising goes to the Pharaoh over, uh, the Pharaoh Forbidden Ones over Cowboy Dragons. But, I said, these guys are not in the same division. Um, it's just one point related to the Pharaoh Forbidden One, not the Cowboy, but there's still plenty of time, especially when it comes to, uh, divisionals and uh, everybody plays everyone it's gonna be 15 rounds is only round one so there's lots of opportunities to earn points to make it into the playoffs they like said this is gonna go on forever 2018 people sit back relax sit back in this chair right here in this chair sit back relax and enjoy so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this match uh like i said this is season two round one match four we are halfway done with round one and then we're gonna go to round two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen then the playoffs so wow wow so many duels to be done and so much content to be watched so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed uh if you guys can please support both of these guys uh their channels are in the description like i said any captains if they have a youtube channel it's going to be in the description and the the particular match their channels will be moved up everybody else's channel is in every description though so check out all the captains and all the people who are uh, participating in the league. And thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications. And I will see you guys next weekend for matches 5 and 6. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, people.